you guys are anything like me, you probably have some drawer or filing cabinet or closet or something full of your old crap that your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, doesn't want to look at all the time. Well, I happened to be going and looking into that and I found a bunch of old phones. And I wondered, if, is there any way I can repurpose them that is actually gonna serve like a cool function? And I settled on this. Let's check it out. So I found about, I don't know, I got four here. I'm using one for this, this project. Then I got, I found this off-brand piece of crap too. This is my wife's old phone. I don't know. I don't like it. Anyway, I found a way to use your old Android phone as a resource monitor for your computer. You can either mount it on a desk, something like this, and have it be like a desk accessory piece, or you can put it inside your computer case like I did, and then you can customize it to monitor live whatever you want. I have mine set to, I think my CPU temperature, my graphics card temperature, my CPU usage, and then how much space I've used on all my drives, my SSDs and my hard drives that are in my computer. So it's pretty cool. It looks really nice in there. So let's show you how to do it. All right, so let's look at the things that we need to complete this project. We need our old phone. We need the phone charger to keep the phone charged at all times. We need the remote system monitor app on our computer and on our phone. And then that should be it. So let's hop in the monitor and I'll show you guys how to download it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just go into Google and type in remote system monitor. It is the Trigon, download the 64-bit installer. Once you've got it installed, open it up, and then it's gonna ask you to set a password so when you connect your phone to it, um, just make sure you make a, a decent password. Hit save, and then you can either keep the server open or you can hit close. It will still be running in the background. Now go to your phone and type in the same thing, the remote system monitor. You should see it right away. It's like a yellow triangle that pops up. There we go. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna hit open. And here we'll see our computer, as long as we're on the same network. And this is where it's gonna ask for a password. We type the password in, we connect. It sits here for a little bit, it'll initialize. And then we should be able to see everything about our computer here, our motherboard, CPU, everything like that. Now we need to go to dashboard and in order to unlock this feature, we do need to donate at least a dollar. So for a dollar is all this project costs, which is pretty reasonable I'd say. So you can choose to donate more. I'm just doing 99 cents. And then when we hit the plus button on dashboard, we need to name it. Name it whatever you feel like. I'm just going with tech FTP, it's the name of my channel, so why not? First things we're gonna to wanna to do is go into settings and make sure we turn on, what's it called? Make sure we turn on dark theme and full screen. This will make it give the effect that we want. Now make sure under server you actually add your computer too. So pretty much here we just go into add widget. I like the gauge style, you can add whichever one you want. This one just looks really nice to me. It's it's the circle and then the, the update goes on the outside. So for my first one, I'm doing CPU core temperature. Like I said, you can choose to do whatever you want choose whatever colors you want and I put 150 degrees or 120 degrees for my maximum Celsius I think anything over 110 or 100 your CPU is like frying but it doesn't matter just put a max limit and then I also did one for my CPU usage which then leaves me with the temperature and the usage for my CPU which when you're gaming and doing stuff like that video editing it's kind of cool to see in real time how your uh, you know your parts in your computer are being affected so you can choose whatever color you want here. I think the color system is pretty cool. You can, you know, choose to match all your CPU stuff to one color, your GPU stuff to one color, your hard drives, whatever you want to do, your RAM, anything you want. But what I think I'm going to do here is fast forward. You guys can mess around with it yourself. You guys know how to do it now. You can do different style. You can do graphs, the gauge, add any one of those you want. And then uh, at the end here, I'll show you what the final product is. Alright, so the phone's plugged in there. I'm gonna show you this. This is not normal. Look at that cable management. Oh, it's gross. But all I did was take my phone charger, it's plugged in down there, route it down into there, underneath, hop it out there, connect it there, 
and now my phone stays charged all the time. When your PC gets shut off, the numbers just stay at whatever they were uh, at the last time. And then once you power your system back on, it will automatically start updating live. So that's it. That's how you take your old phone and turn it into a uh, cool little system resource monitor to monitor your temps. You can set it up however you want. This is just how I have it. I think it looks awesome. It's a uh, good way to use an old device that is just sitting there collecting dust. I have another video in mind. We're gonna be taking all the phones, hooking them up, and use them as a camera system to monitor the outside of my house. Everything will be loaded up into a dashboard on my computer. It's gonna be super easy, it's gonna be awesome. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. We'll see you next time.